flavor on 947. Then it is time for my first hit brought to you by Sampra. It is all about celebrating the music we love, the beats we love, and also paying for play. Today we're joined by a group that has now attained, in my opinion, iconic status. The legendary a cappella group, The Soil. Good morning. <laughs> Zika, good morning. Are you well? Good morning, Mo. Good morning to your listeners as well. Yeah, Lupindo, Yo. good morning. Yo, morning, man. Are How you, you good? Doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and Theo, good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the party. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I took you so long. <laughs> hey. They say you're my fees <laughs> all. <laughs> I see. <laughs> but see, those that know, they say every South African group needs a feel. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Like I just had to. Eh? Like I couldn't. I <laughs> couldn't resist. Yo, guys, people love you, man. Man, and we love them back. We love the people. You know, um, I remember in those days, uh, 2011. I was in a different radio. I think I was still at Y. Yeah. Um, and you guys, um, were just blowing everybody away. Yeah. And the genre, or suppose your style, was so fresh in, in the way it's done, right? Yeah. Um, that there was something that you guys hit in people's hearts and souls. Mm. Do you guys know what that was when you guys started? Oh, my goodness. Ah. We did not even have an idea. When we started off, right, um, and we were going to all these uh, fancy spots, performing, we would hear journalists in the vicinity going, Hey, this a cappella group, this style of a cappella, and like we were not even aware we were doing a cappella. To us, <laughs> it's just singing, bro. Really? Like we started in high school, and yeah. then, but when we saw the impact from all those poetry sessions, and then it translating into recording the music yeah. and putting it out there, and hearing people saying, "Hey, your song, this song is doing this to us," we we're like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I, we think we've hit the big time now. Let's go." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and, and you guys were, were quite young uh, at the time, hmm. and, and obviously relative to now. Uh, what was your idea of what the music industry would be like, Lupindo? Did you guys know what it would be like? What was your idea of it? Oh, the idea of what would it be like? Ah, oh, that's a big question. But one thing I knew about us is that we never doubted the craft, you know. Yeah. And then from 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 the vision we had, we said, no, Indonesia must go to the world, you know, and everyone must listen to us. And sure. and us uh, in that route, we had to learn about the music industry. We had to learn about our rights. We had to learn mm. a lot. And then today we are, you know, <laughs> pioneers of this music. No, man. you are. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about all the lessons and we'll bring Theo in in just a moment. But uh, I have to go back to where it all began. Yes. We have to play joy. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of co we personally feel like that was a that was like our first hit. Yeah. If yes. you think about yeah. it, because we were then also dubbed as the cross generational music creators. Exactly. Let's go. Exactly. That's what it was. <laughs> the album is the soil. The song is joy. The group is the soil, the song that put them on. Now, if you do yourself a favor and check out the list of contributors to the song, <laughs> there are people that are here. Yes. And there are people that are not here. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Hey, I like Some the hello. Yes. Not here. Something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Something. Something. So it is not here. Right here. Yeah? Boots is not is not here. I yeah. need answers. <laughs> but but it's interesting. Uh, who got rid of who? <laughs> and, and who Balo, replaced him with who? <laughs> and Theo, if you also have Why? questions, uh, please because yes. we're not wrong here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now there are things you probably want to know. <laughs> yes. Uh, but what I want to know is yeah. um, this recording session. What Man. was it like, and what was happening in your lives at the time? My goodness! So we were super. We were equally as nervous as we were excited. Yeah. But now, as we were talking of of a, there was this thing where we had to now um, sort of morph our um, day to day performing these songs live into reducing them into a system of recording them. Right. That is hard. Like yeah. now you met you you have to match up with this excitement, nerves, and then you get to 
the studio and nothing almost goes right because you have to literally be a technical uh, you must approach this thing yeah. technically and yeah. all of us we were not trained in school for yeah. this music thing we were not trained for anything but we knew that we were born into this moment so sure. we had to to actually harness it and yeah and and get it done and eventually we started getting a flow of songs i remember even with your sunday in como those songs were recorded three times more like it, it was hard <laughs> man it was really hard but when we got the flow and the the technical aspect of it, sure. it 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 suddenly yeah gained momentum and i would imagine in every group there's uh, different roles that people play lupindo yeah. what would that be for you What's your uh, role in I mean, the group? My role is to to do the beatbox, you know. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I have a husky voice also. Yeah, so. no, but that's a talent. Yeah. <laughs> those, those are those are things you have. Yeah, but there's yeah. other things, yeah. other functions that you yeah. have to fulfill. Yeah. You know, are you the one who says, "Okay, guys, we're having one more drink, then we are leaving"? No. Hey, or no. are you the one yeah, who says, "Okay, who's having a lunch?" No, no, ki abu ti wa wa. So when it's time to work, I'm the one who's the timekeeper, really. All right. I'm the one who's very disciplined, and I'm the one who's always saying to Theo, "Theo, time, Joe, time. We don't have time. Let's go, let's go, let's go." So I'm that pushing force. Right. And I make everyone to be happy. If you're not okay, we talk about it. We move on. Yeah, let, let's talk about how we manage um change. Yeah. Because I alluded to the fact that something so it was yeah. in 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 this in this moment with you guys yeah. as well as Bushe, but yeah. they're both not in the group anymore. Um what that has journey has been like for you? I'm really curious Yo. because you've also brought in another family member yeah. to your already existing yes. family in in Theo. Yes. Yeah. So every change comes with its own um I guess impact. There's a there's one technical thing that people don't even maybe pay mind to. Mm. When something so it was still part of the group, he would sing the melody line, right? I would go um I would harmonize on top of him with like a, 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 a alto yeah. and then Butler would jump on with like soprano, right? But when he left, I had to then go sing. I'm not a I'm not a tenor singer. Right. I'm an alto singer. Right. I'm a soprano range right. type of vocalist as well. So it was hard for me. So I was like, yo, how did he do it so easy? <laughs> so, so it's not just as simple as somebody leaving the room. Mm-hmm. There are actually things that happen yep. in their absence that affect yep. their absence in the group from yep. a musical point of view. Also, you you have this bubbly personality in mm. Booth, you know, mm. even off stage, even on stage. Mm. And when they leave, they don't just leave like uh, you, you you don't just miss the technical aspect of them being there, yep. but also the vibrancy as well, also the lighting up the room with their jokes and stuff you sure. know and you like you lost a family member and it hurts mo it hurts i, I want to talk about that uh, <laughs> pindo how did it feel oh, when man. you guys were having people leave one by one mm. and and considering that you guys are family you and see hey man it it felt your ish i was shattered you know yeah. cuz we were like ish man how do we move on you know after mm. after and we lose so much greatness yeah bo mm. and then the one thing we had uh, i think also which is a blessing so guys my blood brother yes you know and yes. then the the beautiful blessing is the people that love the music mm. so they are the driving force for us to continue absolutely yes, yes. yo so who decided that you needed an extra member <laughs> so it <laughs> is hey, who's that yeah you know you know the irony is in this dynamic ntiga is younger than pindo yeah. ne But when I got you, you're, you're the one who likes to call the shots. You, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> right on the money. Right, and, and that's just downright disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's respect to elders. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 oh who, whose decision was it that all right we we need another dynamic to to, to this unit yeah so i guess when we say this world is a spiritual uh, institution it truly is mm. god and our ancestors lead the the space and when uthi came uh, and did auditions in 2016 to sorry fill up the space for ubuthi who was taking a sabbatical a spiritual journey mm. uthi little did we know that we were auditioning someone that was the member of the soy mm. but we would then see years later that actually we were meeting her in 2016 to continue this legacy with her from 2023 when Butle said okay yes. cool I'm good and P is the one that actually picked up the phone after the meeting with we had with Native Rhythms and oh. said Theo um 
uh, eating unemployment rate. <laughs> and she was like, no, no, oh, no. my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's having me. It's like, not, not not from today onwards. You're part of the soil. We had a meeting, permanent uh, member now. And I my goodness, I love the fact that she is <laughs> magical. I've never enjoyed singing so much. Like she took me back to the reason why, the intention behind we, wow. uh, why we started this thing. That's profound. The, the, man, the, 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 the childlike enthusiasm that we carried with all those bags and all those dirty old stars yeah. she took me back even the things that we do when we harmonize things that are unplanned more it's so surreal man like it's beautiful. beautiful theo thank you so much i i, 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 I want to bring theo in here because before you joined the soil um <clears throat> what was your perception of them before you, you even interacted with him. Mm -hmm. mm. Yo, I looked up to them so mm. much. So much that we, we, we had a group when I was in high school uh, and we would sing Ingo Mazze the Soil. Wow. That's how much I loved them. I followed them uh, uh, everywhere. Oh. You know, I knew all their songs. So for me, coming into the soil, it, it was uh, um, easier than the other ladies when we were doing auditions because I already knew all the lyrics. Sure. Mm. So, yeah. And, and and the dynamic of saying, well, they've been this group all along without you. Mm -hmm. Did you feel you had to do anything to fit in? Yes. What? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm naturally very shy. Really? You know, and now coming into a space uh, where Ubuhle was and Ubuhle is this big, uh, has this big personality. Sure. Now I have to live up to uh, 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 that kind of personality but okay let me just jump out of my shell just a bit you sure. know just to make up for look papa look yeah we're and and making sure good see i gel well with the brothers that's beautiful so yeah. when, when when you are sad about something not even career-wise or musical just mm -hmm. anything which one of the two brothers between Tiga and Lupindo do you go to? <laughs> <laughs> I love that question. It's both of them. I think, Aye, there's Aye. no such thing. Listen, listen. <laughs> it really is both of them. It just depends on the context. Right. Yeah. There's there's certain things that I talk to Untega about. Yeah. And there's as there's other things that I talk to Upi about. For instance, if there's something uh, I'm going through as far as uh, my spirituality is concerned. Sure. U Untiga is the go-to man. Right. Yes. If, <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> yes. If yeah. Nyakoa, as far as Umjolo is concerned. And groove. Upi, and uh -uh. Oh, oh, okay. Upi is the go-to so man. So if you have Mjolo issues and hangover issues, yeah. P is the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about hangover, but Mjolo is. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hangover where? How? Who? Why? <laughs> I love it. Listen, welcome oh to, to the unit. In fact, uh, you guys have gone and birthed uh, a beautiful project in Reimagine. Man. Can we play uh, Tam Dandim? Can we do that? Yes, please. Yeah, let's do that, right? Let's go. <laughs> Hey, 
Well, that's how they feel about this song. <laughs> it's the soil on 947. My first hit brought to you by Sampra. Mm. Reimagined is the album it recently dropped. This is Tanduan Dim. Mm. And they've also got The Legacy on the song as well. My goodness. Well done. Stunning stuff. My goodness. And Theo, you are here on this one as yes, well. Yes, I am here. <laughs> She's present. You're present. present sir. She's a contributor. Yes. yes. Oh, man, this is beautiful. We don't know. Next day, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. We might be here the second time. That's what I was alluding to. Oh. Oh. So, Theo, what do you want out of this album? Yes, you want people to buy it and stream it, etc. Mm -hmm. But at a personal level, what are you hoping to achieve from being a part of this album? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think I've always wanted for people to hear me, mm. for people mm. to hear my voice, for people to to get to know me. And I think with this album, people will will get to know me because all the verses on this song. Okay, there's only one verse that Umtiga wrote for me. Yes. <laughs> but the others I wrote for myself, and mm. I think I I put out all that I am into the music. Beautiful. So I think people will, will actually get to know me. Oh, man. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, there's so many memories that people have of the soil. I mean, I remember being at uh, the Johannesburg Zoo and you yes. guys were performing there. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, you were there with your family. Yeah, it was a family yeah. day, etc. Yeah. Um, and interestingly, um, when we uh, were in the middle of lockdown, uh, we were supposed to have uh, the wedding, Bea and I, right? Yeah. Uh, but we couldn't do the wedding the way we wanted to. Yeah. And guess who she wanted us to book? Oh, oh my come goodness. On, somebody. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can still make it happen. You know, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, maybe anniversaries you know, yeah. or something. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. In terms of performances, where you guys get booked, um, what brings you so much joy about performing live for people? Oh, my God. That in instant energy exchange, that thing you can never buy it anyway that feeling just singing a note and seeing someone smile laugh or cry from yeah. that thing mm. just the bland when we harmonize i'm telling you it's something so spiritual for us as well sure you cannot plan to heal people with music without it healing you first yeah. so my goodness we also having a time of our lives and we love the fact that we're still getting booked even when we're in a seven year hiatus we're still getting those corporate gigs so we are really really thankful and with the album as well um just to also chime in i call it the the reimagined one i call it the grammy awaiting album Yo. it's that yes, beautiful come on, i think by far yeah. it's, yeah. it's the most amazing and most authentic and most matured um album that we've ever done brilliant stuff yeah. uh you guys are amazing um Ziga, lupindo theo Thank you so much for continuing to, you know, bring magic to people's Thank lives. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank where you. can people catch you next, Lupindo, um, as The Soil? Hey. Uh, apart from the album, what are you guys up to? Let's go. Yo, man, we are running uh, The Soil Reimagined Tour. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And then August 23, is Sisa Soweto. Oh, yeah. So it's a theater, Yerbo, yes. And then, uh, matter all the details, you can find us on the on our socials, you know, yes. at The Soil Music everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, everybody. Come on. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> the so Soil much. live on 947 and uh, you guys are iconic. I hope one day when we as 947 do something special, uh, we can book you guys. In fact, I will put a recommendation <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah. to get you guys in here. Let's go. To perform with us because you guys are part of family. Yeah. Thank you so much. The Thank Soil you so much. on 947. It is my first hit brought to you by Sampra. Love the beat. Pay for play. Low flavor on 947.